And for the seventh year, our Earth Day Art Contest showcased the creativity and the love for the environment of so many South Florida art students. And the competition was tough. I've got to tell you, so many beautiful works of art out there. But this morning, I headed to Miami to surprise the big winners. Since 2018, our Earth Day Art Contest has awarded $27,000 to six schools across South Florida. Today, we headed to Miami's Epiphany Catholic School for a special Earth Day surprise. Ms. Hernandez, you're the winner of the Local 10 Earth Day Art Contest. Congratulations. <laughs> of art, a stunning seven-foot piece titled Mangrove Delight. It's proudly displayed in the parent pickup line. It's made with 100% recycled items. Art teacher Carolina Hernandez says her students brought the trash to class and together they turned it into art. Bottle caps, we have a magazine at the bottom and then we have a lot of cardboard, we have tabs from uh, soda cans, we have packaging material behind, Lots of recycled, even here, like those fruit bags. Hernandez wanted to combine two things she loves, art and boating. I'm very passionate about the water. I grew up on the water. Um, and being that we're in South Florida, and we, we have to preserve what's around us, and, and most especially our waterways, and keep them clean and, and for future generations. And Mrs. Hernandez has been touching the lives of those future generations for 22 years. It's clear this latest project was something both educational and inspirational for the third, fourth, and fifth grade students. Well, it was like hard, at the, but I think it was really pretty once it all got finished. So that's why we had to take care of our world because God made the world and that was a gift for us. And speaking of gifts, <laughs> our contest sponsor Publix had a gift of $4,500 to buy more art supplies. Giving students the opportunity to learn and then to mix that with learning about the environment and how they can be better stewards of the environment we know it's so important, and that's why we've been invested in this project for so long. And the public's mascot, Plato, came bearing another gift. Some sweets for you guys to enjoy. Yeah! Congratulations, Epiphany Catholic School. And now there's just one more thing to say. Happy But their moms and dads are so happy we mm -hmm. gave them more sugar, right? <laughs> All right, one more note. You remember that $4,500 prize? Well, Mrs. Hernandez says she and her school are so blessed with enough funding for their own art supplies, so she's going on, on a search on a website. It's set up especially for teachers who are looking for financial help with their programs, and she's going to find an art project that needs funding, and she's donating that money, her prize Way money. To pay it forward. Isn't that great? Paying it forward. That's a surprise. Yeah. It's such a great school. Well, Yes. Looking at alumni right here. I'm not an alumni, but oh, my sisters all your went sisters. there. Okay. And my nephews and nieces all went there. I know ah. they put out wonderful students yeah. who care about the environment. I mean, that little boy said it the best. God gave us the world yes. as a gift for us. You know? Yep. And and we got to protect it. it. Yeah, got to protect, protect the whole it. world. Beautiful. Nicely right. done, Congratulations, Epiphany. Congratulations, guys. Go Kings.